hello and welcome back guys to our forex topics channel and on today's topic guys is gonna be um ict the inner circle trader now many times i've been getting these questions from a lot of beginners asking that where should uh, where should i start in ict you know information is is free um online uh, but most of people don't know where to start from and what to start with because there's a shit ton of things and they just get confused um they they end up um not knowing what they're doing now this right here um this video right here is going to be um an ultimate solution to that problem now without further ado guys don't forget to like um subscribe if you haven't and let's dive in now <clears throat> in ict we have a lot of things in it right it covers it's a very wide concept and it covers um, a lot of things but within the things I have highlighted and um, segmented the most important topics that you should pass to in order to understand um, ICT in 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 a chronological form right in a smart way so this way here will be um, your playbook right so you will start from one chapter to another until you cover everything and that is when you'll be good at ICT now the first thing is market structure right because ict mainly deals um, with structural plays you have to know what swing points are um and talking about swing points we are talking about basically high highs and high lows right these um highs and lows right this as the swing high the swing low the swing high the swing low the swing high the swing low in that um in that kind of manner but also we, we won't only be talking about that right we have to also understand the fractal nature of the market that the market doesn't move um in a shape like this right realistically the market moves in some sort of way that is is very fractal right so you have price doing this and this and this over time now this generally is an uptrend but considering this uptrend you'll find that there's fractalized nature of the market where sometimes it tends to shift right you can see there's clearly shifts in structure but later on it still continues with the true bullish trend now this is what we call the fractal nature of the market but we're also going to have to learn about support and resistance because as we know that um a lot of beginners um, tend to start from the retail um, way of trading where they, they are uh, okay I was looking to use the brush for they you know tend to view the markets like this right so um, so like up here there's um, down here there's support and up there there's resistance right so the market will tend to bounce from these levels right so from support to resistance and then right here is where you want to catch these um, these moves right here and those entries in there to take price lower as the market is overbought and buy when the market is over uh, I mean sell when the market is overbought and buy when the market is oversold but that's not our main intention right now we're just making a quick review on what you guys should learn okay so let's just um, remove all of these just to get this and this little guy okay so the second part right now is order books so after you know how structural plays are right you know how to identify um swing lows and swing highs then the second uh, the second thing that you will uh, you want to know is order books order blocks are these uh, are these zones that tend to hold the price and release price at a very great momentum which are the areas that we want to catch those buys and sells now the order blocks tend to lie in certain positions in the charts like that um, you will get to know and practice them as you continue learning but um you also have to know how order blocks operate what they mean and what they stand for right okay so now shifting to the other part is liquidity as an inner circle trader you have to understand liquidity and this is the i can say it's the most important part uh, in this whole section right you cannot be an inner circle trader if you don't if you do not know how liquidity operates because um, ICT is all about liquidity as you've been taught right because so price um, creates and 
takes liquidity over time. Now, this is something that you will learn as you dig deeper um, into ICT. Now, you have to understand why this is done and how this is done and how to catch these moves, right? These buys from here and ultimately these um, these sells from here, right? So that can only be um, learned through the study of liquidity. Okay, so I'm looking to delete this, but wow. Okay, cool. Um, so in liquidity now, you'll be taught how to spot um, liquidity pools, liquidity voids, fair value gaps, and injection. What is liquidity injection? What fair value gaps are? What liquidity voids are and what liquidity pools are. Now, these are the most important concepts that there are in the whole subsection of liquidity. Now, you cannot cover the part of liquidity if you do not know um, either one of those terms there. You have to know all of them in order for you to be great at understanding liquidity and how, of, how liquidity is engineered and taken over time. But also, moving to the next part, we have this um, coloration and divergence of pairs, right? You have to understand that smart money coloration and, di and diversion of pairs, right? Because we're taught that some pairs um, colorate, right? For example, GBP, uh, pound USD and Euro USD, right? If the market is bullish, then it's bullish, it's bullish on all of them, right? And if one's bullish and the other is bearish, then that is what they call um, an S&T divergence. Now you will learn how that operates and works once you dig deeper into that um, particular void of study. <clears throat> Moving to the extra part is um, these extra things that as an inner circle trader, you should know, right? So the first extra thing is liquidity engineering. You have to understand how liquidity is engineered and taken over time. As we say that if structure is pushing bullish, right? Sometimes smart money will make this low accumulations in here and tend to take this liquidity, right? So this right here is liquidity engineering, right? This right here, um, this right here is liquidity grabbing and then what? Price continues to the what? To the trend. Now this is what we call liquidity engineering and taking of liquidity uh, without price uh, affecting its trend. Now you will get to know these as you dig deeper into um, studying ICT, right? And <clears throat> The second is institutional pricing. Here we're mainly gonna deal with order flow, right? You have to understand how institutions view price. So this will help you to rather be very um, accurate and proportional in taking your entries rather than just deciding that, okay, I'm gonna buy at any time you want. You have to view price in that sort of manner that you position yourself in catching these big volatile moves rather than positioning yourself in in some sort of price action like this right you're looking to buy here maybe sell here it's it's kind of dirty now institutional pricing will teach you all about that um okay that being said we should now move to um the next part so the other things that you should learn about is um these uh mitigation blocks and breakout blocks, right? You uh, you mainly be taught this in the uh, in the section of structure, structural analysis through the inner circle way, and um, they're actually very important concepts as they they occur um, almost everywhere and every day, right? Because structure structure just tends to replay, right? I mean, the creation of high highs and high lows is there in every uptrend and every every downtrend, right? So structure is, is particularly just a replay. You have to understand how it works in order to, to be able to catch those moves. Now, the other, the last thing is the power of three, also known as AMD, which is like accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. It's, 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 um, it's a simple concept, but it's rather tricky in its understanding, right? Because we, we've been taught that price will go bearish. And if the bearish pressure is now declining, price will make what? An accumulation, an indecisional price action like this, right? And after this accumulation, price is going to take liquidity, right? So this right here is the accumulation, also known as liquidity engineering. So price will tend to take liquidity in the either side and then reflect to the opposite side. So if price takes liquidity to the downside, then it's going to reflect where to the upside. Thus, price will have grabbed this liquidity here and this liquidity here. All the liquidity above the swing highs and all the liquidity above the swing lows. 
hence that um, that retest and that continuation of price uh, going higher and there is your magnificent entry so that is all about the power of three this is just um this is just a quick review i'm not here to, to teach to teach guys um it's only making reviews now after you've learned all those concepts the last thing that you want to get in depth with is sessions now sessions is something that people don't consider very much but this is what makes a lot of traders um, with good trading strategies to not be profitable because you will find that um, someone particularly trading a pair like euro usd in the asian session and you're wondering right because it's insane guys it's it's inconsiderable why why is that inconsiderable right you have to learn the sessions and how they operate in order for you to have the ability to catch the best moves in the market because the way sessions operate is how liquidity is engineered in the market. A pair, I mean, um, London pairs are pretty much very volatile during the London session. New York pairs, like like the dollar, is very much volatile during the New York session. Asian pairs like JPY are very volatile. Um, like the yeah i mean the japanese yen is very volatile during the asian session because that's when its liquidity is engineered and taken right so the act for someone trading euro usd in the asian session when i mean the new york markets are closed and the london markets are closed price is definitely just moving in an unproportional manner and you're looking to position yourself in the in these moves here now you will find yourself at at either side of the liquidity being taken right so press would it will just generally be doing this it won't give you any um, any any real move right so in order for you to be able to catch um, in order for you to be able to catch um, profitable moves in the market you should know how sessions operate so that you can also operate under those sessions so with all that being said guys this is all about the inner circle trader and if you do wish to study um, about the inner circle trader um, there's a lot of information um, on telegram at least it's the best source that i can um, i can recommend um, telegram for ict is very good and uh, but also if you do want to get that in-depth knowledge you can just de uh, start dm us on instagram at official green tips of x and we will be happy to receive you so without further ado guys don't forget to hit the like um subscribe if you haven't turn that bell button on for notifications and until the next one guys